Let us discuss three way modes. So for the purpose of demonstration, we will be using this remote repo. Now to mimic the use of two SDETs working on the same remote repo, what I've done is I've created two different folders on my machine. One with the name SDET1 and another with the name of SDET2. And in both these folders, I have cloned the repo separately. So I've cloned the repo here also in this folder and I've cloned the repo here also in SDET2 folder also. And currently I am on the master branch and this is the code base in this folder. So this is for SDET2 and this is for SDET1. Now first, first of all, let's pull up the latest changes from the master. So we'll do it by this command. So everything up to date in SDET2 branch. Let's run. So here also everything up to date. Now let's cut a new branch. So for SD2, I'll cut the branch feature slash add cart. In the same time, I will cut a branch for SD1, which will be. So SD1 and SD2 have cut their own respective branches. Let's first check the commit log to verify the anchor commit in both the branches. So both the branches should be derived from the same commit. Let's check that. I will first check for the SD2. So over here on the top, we can see that uh, the hash value for the commit is this. So let's copy this. So when we made the cut from the master branch, this was the last updated commit on the master branch, which will act as anchor commit for us. Now let's check the same for SDET1 branch. So over here also, we can see that we have the same ID. So it means both the branches are cut from the same anchor commit. So now let's make some new commits. We'll start with SDET2 branch. So let's make some commits. So I will update the test ng file for this for in case of SDET2. So this, so this commit is being made by SZ2 and this is his first commit. So we did this. Now let's make another commit. This time we'll change the name of the regression. So instead of regression 2, we'll use regression 3. The commit is made by SZ2 and this is the second commit. Now let's check the log for this. So as we can see, the latest commit is this. So this is pointing to the the second commit which the user made. So let's copy this and let's place it here. So this is for the branch feature slash add cart. And the this is the second commit and the value is this. So this is the latest commit on this branch. The commit before this was which we made was this commit. So let's copy this. And the anchor commit is now shown before this. So it is in sequence. So earlier this was the commit, then we made the commit. So it started pointing that the latest commit is this. After this, the latest commit became this for the feature slash add card branch. Now let's do the same steps for SZ1. So over here, we will be making updates in the format XML file. SZ1 and this is the first commit by the SZ1. Uh, let's make a change again. Let's check the commit log for SDET1. Okay, so here also we have two new commits after the anchor commit. Anchor commit was this and we made the commit after this which is commit1 and after this we make this commit which now became the latest commit on this branch. So let's copy this. So the flow of the commits was this was the anchor commit. After this, this commit was made and after that the latest commit is this on the feature slash login branch. Now let's say that both of them are ready with the changes and they want to merge their own branch into the master branch. But in this process, SZ2 was able to merge his own branch first. So let's do that. So to merge these changes, we will first go to the receiving branch, which is in our case, the master branch. Let's check what is the latest commit on the master branch. So over here, it still shows that the latest commit on the master branch is the one which we had for the anchor commit, which is this. So still at time t2, at time t2, the latest commit is, latest commit on master branches is this. So now when SZ2 would be making the merge into the master branch, Git will use fast forward merge strategy because there are no new commits after the anchor commit. Let's merge the branch. See, the merge got completed and it used fast forward merge strategy. Let's check the logs again. So over here, we can see the latest commit is now pointing to this, which was the latest commit on the feature slash add cart branch. And before this, 
it shows the commit one which was made by SJ2 and before it it shows the anchor commit so with this the master branch has moved ahead with two new commits so now when SJ1 would be trying to merge his changes he will find that master branch has some new commits and once he tries to merge git will use three way merge this time it will not use fast forward let's check this out so first of all we have to make sure that these changes from SJ2 gets to the remote repo so that those changes can be reflected back in the system of SJ1 so let's do it So the changes have been pushed to the master branch on the remote repo. So now let's move ahead with the next steps. So we went into the SDET1 repo and let's check out the master branch here. So we have checked out the master branch. Now let's pull the latest changes first. So we are trying to pull the changes and you can see right it has added two new insertions. So let's check these. So we'll do this via running git log command. It shows the latest commit to be on master branch to be this. So let's copy this first. So now we are at time. T3. Over here, we are trying to check what is the latest commit on master. So the latest commit on master is this, which is the commit made by SJ2. And this was the second commit made by him, which is which was the latest commit on the on his branch, which is this. Right? And before that, it shows the commit which the SD2 made, which was this one, right? So let's copy this and let's place it here. And it shows the anchor commit which we had on the third position in the sequence. So let's copy this. Now, since the master branch has moved ahead with some new commits and we have some new commits after the anchor commit and now when we will be trying to merge the branch into master git will use three way merge and why do we call it as three way merge because here three commits are involved one the anchor commit from which originally both the branches were cut second the new latest commit on the master branch and the latest commit on my own local branch which is this so let's merge the branch and see what happens next so we'll do git merge feature slash login see now because of these new commits it was unable to use the fast forward merge strategy now this merge request will be completed using three way merge strategy and that is where it is asking us to make a comment it is saying that please put a message here so that we can make a commit so if we are good with this we can just simply save the message and we are done so our changes have been merged into the master branch now look at the log message which has been printed this time it says merge made by the odd strategy now when the git uses three way merge strategy it has two options it could use odd strategy or it could use recursive strategy in our case it is using odd strategy in the earlier version of git the default strategy was recursive strategy for three way merge now let's check the logs again so over here we can see the latest commit is this let's copy this after time t3 master has the latest commit and its value is this right and before that the commit was this and this was the second commit which was made by as did one so we can check that see this and this is same right and before that came the commit made by SJ1, the first commit, and before that, the commit made by SJ2, and then the anchor commit. Now, to complete this three way merge strategy, Git has to make a new commit object. And this, the latest commit which is shown on this master branch, is that commit. So, neither the SJ1 nor the SJ2 created that commit. This was generated automatically by Git to complete the three way merge process. And it also shows like what all two branches have been merged. See here, it shows 8F990F, which is this one, which was the latest commit by the SJ2 and the branch from SJ1 with this latest commit. So this is how three way merge works. In the end, we get a new commit object, which is automatically generated by our Git and the head of the master branch moves to this automatically generated commit object. And this is what we get in the end. This is the auto merge commit which was generated by Git and the head of the master branch got moved to this commit object. And that completes the explanation for three way merge. I hope you enjoyed the session today. 
and would have learned something new. If you did, please subscribe the channel and do share the content with others as well.